everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 349. Welcome. Well, I have quite a few finished objects to show you and some works in progress, so let's get started. Okay, so for my finished objects, uh, I mentioned, uh, I guess it was last week that I was working on a gift. Uh, this is uh, something that my son picked out. He found the pattern. He picked it out. He showed, He sent me the link. He says, can you make this? And it's for his girlfriend for her birthday. Uh, she don't watch my videos. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I did it. <laughs> and it is... Um, Borzoi, something like that. It's it's it, another name for it is a Russian wolfhound. That's what I've seen from when I was looking things up to try to see. My notes are sliding. <laughs> so anyway, I made it. I finished it, and I guess it it's, it looks okay. <laughs> Here it is, <laughs> and this is what it looked like. This is what the pattern looked like. So yeah, it turned out pretty cute. I did kind of snazz it up a little bit and used chenille yarn. So then he, he is soft, so that's nice. And I used uh, different safety eyes, see that? Little, add a little interest to it instead of just uh, broad reed stitched on plain eye. So, yeah. So there is finish object number one is, is this dog. And I will be giving it to my son so he can give it to his girlfriend for her birthday. Among whatever, I don't know what else he's getting her. But anyway, okay. <laughs> So going on to finish object number two, it is the jellyfish square. Now this is a uh, the under the sea crochet along that Sarah Zimmerman, who is repeat crafter me here on YouTube. No, well on the internet. <laughs> um, anyway, it's her uh, monthly squares that she is putting out the pattern for um along with a tutorial i believe um anyway so i decided to go ahead and join that because the squares are so cute and so the january square um i can go show you i have, have them here in my box right here so let me grab them uh let's see here okay so the january square was the starfish okay and then the february square was the seahorse <laughs> okay, and then now the third one is a jellyfish, and I finished it. I think he turned out really cute. Look, very cute. <laughs> Should have kind of flattened the square a little bit before showing it to you. Maybe that'll help. Okay, there, yeah. <laughs> okay, so there is um, the square for March, and I did go ahead and make the square for April, I just have to wait now for the applique. And if she is going by the pictures of the, the, it, it's like a digital picture, a digital? I mean, it's not a picture, like a photograph of a crocheted project, but she ha she posted the, the squares ahead of time on the information page. So I'll go ahead and pop that in right here. Okay. So here it is. It's going to be 15 squares. Okay. And so if she's following the order of the squares, I think the next square for April is going to be a crab. <laughs> so I've already got the square ready. So I just have to wait till April the 1st when she puts the pattern out. <laughs> Okay, so I, yeah, I'm really enjoying doing these squares. I had told myself that I was not going to do a year-long project, but when I saw that, uh, I just couldn't resist it. And I then, well, I saw it and I thought, I was like, oh no, no, I'm not going to do it and I'm not going to do it. And then I saw some other people doing it and saw their squares and it's like, oh yes, I have to do it. <laughs> and so, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, there's that. <laughs> Okay, um, finish objects number three and four. Well, two is listed under number three, and then one under no number four are preemie hats. So I mentioned yesterday in Crafting with Friends, if you saw, I think it was yesterday, that I had not worked on the uh, preemie hats. Uh, well, I did last week. I had them barely started, but I hadn't finished worked on them at all uh, since then. And then, so this is already... Well, yesterday was March the 20th. So, I mean, it was already getting toward the end of the month. And I have my four preemie hats that I have to make. And I hadn't finished any of them yet. And so, um, I got on to that today. And I got three of them done. <laughs> so, here are the two that you saw last week. It's the turkey hat. 
Now, I was going to put, uh, this is a pattern by cream of the crop crochet.com. I made two of them, two different sizes. So this one would be a itsy bitsy preemie. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, this is from cream of the crop crochet. I'll link it down below in the description box. I was supposed to put uh, a couple of like curly Q type corkscrew type things that's supposed to be like feathers, but, uh, I started making them and, um, I just, I, I was kind of holding them on to the top of the hat and I couldn't figure out how to arrange them to make them look right. And I thought, no, I'm not going to do that. So I just did the little, um, what do they call that? A waddle and sewed that on. And so, uh, that way you can tell that it's a turkey, not an owl. <laughs> and so I just decided to leave it like that. And so I did that for both of them. Okay. So that is preemie hat one and two for March completed yay and then i went on to do preemie hat number three. Oh, i feel a loose strand of yarn in there i need to sew that in but anyway it is another pattern by cream of the crop crochet and this one is as you can see a ladybug hat and i think that one turned out pretty pretty well and i had i thought about i was going to make two of these to do get number three and number four done but this one's got so many parts to sew on i mean you have to First, you make the beanie, and then you have to make all these spots. It's six. I made six of the circles for the spots. You're supposed to make eight. I only made six. And then, um, of course, this black face piece is a separate piece. You have to sew on. And then you got to do the eyes. And then you got to sew, you know, you sew on the mouth. And then you, you sew those onto the face. And then sew the face onto the hat. It's just a lot of sewing. And so I don't know if I'm going to make another one. Or I will look at for something really fast and quick for my fourth one for this month. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but not today. <laughs> I have I have next week also. So I might make another one. I don't know. It turned out really cute, I think. <laughs> okay, so that are that's my preemie hats, and that is all my finished objects, except I do have some finished diamond painting objects, so let me show you those. Okay, so yesterday, if you watched the Crafting with Friends, you already saw, you already saw them. One of them was in progress, one of them was finished, now both of them are finished. I'm trying to get them out from under this box here. Okay, so... They're kind of sticky because I haven't I haven't sealed them yet. But I did the April sign that I will be putting next to my desk. I have it hanging. I haven't put the hanging chain on it because I'm going to use my Liquitex and put the sealant on it uh, because right now you know it, it's like it's sticky. <laughs> and so uh, anyway, there you go. Another little gnome. I think it's really cute. I love the little butterflies. So cute. So that is, uh, I've got that one finished. So it's ready, it, well, except for me to seal it, but um, ready for when it becomes April. <laughs> and then yesterday I was showing you, I did this one. Now I wanted to do this, it's a wreath, and I was wanting to do it um, so that way I'll have something else that is kind of spring ish looking, you know, uh, because right now I have the one I have in my, the other room where I do my Wednesday videos, um, it's an, it's definitely an Easter one because it's an Easter basket with some bunnies in it. And so I will keep that up, well, another week, you know, uh, until Easter is over. And then um, I'll probably take that down and then I'll put this up because this one is more just like spring. And so I finished it yesterday. Look at this. Ah, oh, I really like this. I've had it for a while. I got it. I think I, I think I got it from one day saving, um, but I had never put it together to make it. And so, uh, I'm so happy that I did it because it's so pretty. If you can see, I don't know if you see the colors. They're just, ah, so pretty. So, uh, it does have a hanging chain and this one actually has some lights that you put in the back. There's tiny little holes, little holes that go all the way around the, all the way around the whole thing. And so, um, let me see if they're bigger ones. No, two of them, you put the hanging chain because it did come with a hanging chain. And then the other ones, you stick these little fiber optic lights in them. And then there's a little battery pack that sticks on the back. And that way you can turn it on and it be it would be lit. And so um, that's kind of like the Christmas one I have does, does that. Um, although I always forgot to forget 
or forgot to turn on the Christmas one. I had it hanging up, but I always forgot to turn the lights on. <laughs> but anyway, if I put them in there, I'll probably get my husband to do it. Um, but this will be hanging, um, you know, it'll be in my background for spring um, for crafting with friends. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so now we're finished with the finished objects. Okay, works in progress. I had the log cabin blanket. I'm still working on that. I completed a whole nother round. Now, what I'm talking about a round is four bars of the log cabin blanket. Each bar has four rows, okay? So, here is what it's looking like. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, I did measure it, and it is 28 inches right now, square. And so... um I just love these colors. Great color combination. Um, so I did put it in my lap. It's not really very big for a lap blanket unless it's just for a very small child. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around a whole nother round of these four bars and then measure. I did measure the bars. They're about two inches. And so each round they have a bar on one side, bar on the other. So each round it goes up uh, four inches measurement wise. And so... Um, if I go another round, that would take it from 28 to 32. And then another round would take it to 36. And then it would be 36 inches squared. So I might go ahead and go two more rounds. I have plenty of yarn to do that. So, um, you know, I still have yarn left. And, you know, I was thinking because I have, and if I still have a lot of yarn left after that of those particular colors, which I might... Almost all of them, maybe not the spring green. I'm not sure about that. But anyway, I was thinking that these colors, wouldn't that make a cool um, corner to corner where it's like diagonal stripes of these colors? Was Wouldn't that be pretty? I think it would be pretty. <laughs> Either that or like a chevron, like a zigzag or something. I don't know. I just really love that. like that color combination. Okay, so there is my progress on that, and that is a tutorial that I actually made a tutorial for, <laughs> and the one I did, it was called the Patriotic Lap Gam because I did it in red, white, and blue, and I do have both versions, left and right-handed, and uh, now the pattern's not mine. It's a pattern by Roberta Dooley, but she gave me permission to make the tutorial, so I can link the tutorial down below in the description box, okay, and then in the information of those tutorials in the the description box below those tutorials, you can find the link to Roberta's pattern on Ravelry. It's a free download. Okay, so I will put that below. <laughs> okay, um, so next works in progress is my amigurumi that I'm working on. Now, I showed this on Tuesday because on Tuesday for Tuesday Tidbits, I did a, a designer spotlight. And it, I, the person that I did a spotlight on was the designer by the name of Rhonda Butler. And she has a YouTube channel. I don't know if she has a website. I hadn't, couldn't find it. She has a Facebook page. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Arts and something. Um, but she has all these tutorials on YouTube. Okay. And a lot of her projects are no sew or very low sewing amigurumis. And so that of course attracted me and so i'm making an elephant i'll pop in the picture right here this is what the elephant looks like uh in this picture you're seeing a pink and blue both versions okay i'm making the blue version and i'll show you what i have uh, so far i just had um i haven't done any since tuesday so if you saw this tuesday you're going to see it again but here's the back feet and see i use the blue okay so there is the back feet and then i do have the the front feet, <laughs> okay, and then I have the trunk made right there. Oh, yeah, that's where the stuffing is. <laughs> so there is the trunk, okay. It does have a little curl, a uh, little bend to it. Uh, I love the way she did the pattern to make it bend. It was, it was very well done. Anyway, so there's all I've gotten done. Now the yarn I'm using is so, oh, it's so soft. You're just feeling it. It's premier, but it's premier yarns. Uh, what's it called? Retro velvet or vintage velvet? I think it's retro velvet. Anyway, it's so soft. And the colorway is called mist, I think. And um, I don't have it. I have it in there in the other room. Well, I have some of it 
yeah, see, it, I'll try to point that right there that I'm pointing my finger at, that gray, it's that, <laughs> okay? And then the blue I'm using, I also have some back there, is the Just Chenille from Premier Yarns also in, I guess it's called blue, I don't know. Blue, I think, light blue, I don't know. Anyway, so I haven't done any more work on that. I might try to work on that a little bit this evening. Um, I think the next part is starting the head. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd show it to you again if you didn't see it on Tuesday. Okay, and then the third works in progress I have is the Granny Rectangle Blanket. Now, this is the uh, red, oh no, Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn in the colorway Banana Split. You know, I had some leftover from the Forever Always Blanket because I had a ball left over and then I found another skein that I didn't know. I would forgotten that I had it. It was back there behind the rabbit. <laughs> and so I didn't see it. And so... Um, I, I, I really didn't want to put this back on the shelf because I really want to just use it up. It's been back there for a long time. So I thought, well, I'm just going to start a granny rectangle blanket and I'll just keep going until it's finished. And so there, here it is. Look how it's pooling. It's doing the stripes again, <laughs> the pink, I mean, the purple and the white. And then I've got this splotch of yellow down here. Now I had a subscriber say that when, she, when they, when they're, project does that that then she cuts the yarn and then starts like from the other end of the skein and and then works that what direction to try to mix that up and I, sh I should have done that but I didn't and I don't want to rip it out now <laughs> so there you go that's what it's doing and so I finished the ball left over from the big scoop which is like a jumbo skein of the ice cream yarn and then now I am working on the that single skein is already getting poofy, um, the single skein of it. So when I finish with this, then I will be finished with that yarn. And so, I mean, it's already getting to be a pretty good size. I haven't measured it, but um, if anything, it'll be a car seat blanket, could be, but it may turn out bigger than that. Um, we'll see. Now I can always use that purple that I used um, for the forever always blanket, you know, I use that, that, that border, that purple, because I've still got some, it's, I don't see it, but it's, it's up there somewhere. <laughs> and so I have a good amount of it. So I could always put a big border on it or something. We'll see. We'll, I'm just really curious to see how big it's going to be once I finish with this. Cause it's quite a bit right here. So yeah, <laughs> stay tuned. We'll find out how big it will grow. <laughs> Okay, um, and that is all my works in progress and all my finished objects. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've uh, that's what I've worked on. <laughs> uh, so let's go on. Teddy is right down here. I want to make sure I don't step on him. Okay, so let's go on to upcoming. So I have one more preemie hat I need to make for this month for, to make my four to meet my goal. So I need one more. And then, of course, the under the sea blanket, the under the sea blanket crochet along this, the square for April is coming, um, April 1st, you know, and I already showed you that I got the square done. I'm just waiting for the applique to come out. So that'll be upcoming. <laughs> and then, of course, now I've mentioned this in the last couple of episodes of my videos here, that Loopy Lamb, and that I can link it down below in the description box, she's going to have a crochet along to make a what does she call it? I think she calls it a crochet saurus, but it's a dinosaur. Really super cute. I will put a picture up in here, up here so then you can see it. It's really cute. It's going to be tutor in tutorial form and she's going to have three, I think it's going to be three videos and it's starting April the 5th. And so, um, I'm going to be doing that. And so that is upcoming. And then what else is upcoming? Well, I'm not sure, except that, you know, that I've been working on these animal squares. This is the last one I showed you because I thought all this right here, <laughs> this jumbo bright yellow red heart super saver yarn. I've got like, oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. I've got one five or six of them. Yeah. Of this bright yellow. Uh, this was the yarn blessing that I got last year, which I'm so grateful for. Uh, but that's a lot of yellow. So, um, I, I started making these animal squares. I only got two of them made. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> anyway. So, um, I think I'm going to make the puppy, the puppy next. So I'll be making it, starting another square for that. Um, yeah, I had picked out the yarn I think I'm going to make it, uh, I don't see it right now. 
I think it was going to be a light color, like like Red Heart Super Saver buff or something. I thought, and then I'd make um, use a dark brown maybe or something for his uh, ears. I also have though uh, latte stripes, which is Red Heart Super Saver. I just have like a, I don't, it's I don't know where it's at. It's a leftover ball of it, and and it's it's like it's like a ombre or self-striping in in shades of brown and I was wondering what if I made the ears with that and it would change it would change colors you know because of the way the striping goes but I don't know if, if it will or not because I think the colors are um kind of long color sections so it was a thought I had I don't know if that's what's going to be or not it may just be dark brown ears I don't know just a thought <laughs> we'll see what happens with that anyway i would probably be starting that this next week um i haven't worked any on my cross stitch this week um i did do those uh, diamond painting and i hadn't done any diamond painting in a while um somebody had asked me i believe it was you karen <laughs> um she had asked me if i had finished that seahorse and uh does it have sea turtles on it? No, seahorses. That diamond painting that I was going to do for my bathroom. No, I haven't. It's it's over there. It's still over there. So I need to get working on it again. Uh, I don't know. Something came up, I guess, and I had to get some other projects finished. Um, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so no, I haven't finished it yet. You, you didn't miss the big reveal. <laughs> um, and let's see. Yesterday, I talked about that I was going to have a baby. I was going to a baby shower and... and um, the theme is going to be Peter Rabbit. Now, the baby shower isn't for a couple of weeks, uh, but the, her theme is Peter Rabbit. And so I was like, oh, I have a Peter Rabbit. And so, see, I've already taken him off my shelf. He's not over there now. But I'm going to give her the Peter Rabbit and then a little storybook that I had bought for that is the Peter Rabbit story. The, and so I'm going to be putting those two together, and then I'll just add something to her gift, you know, like diapers or wipes or something you know just to add to the gift I think that's what I'm going to do I thought about doing uh, of course I talked about this yesterday but I thought about doing Jemima Puddle Duck but I think because I got the pattern for it but um I'm not feeling it and she's having a little boy and Jemima Puddle Duck is girl woman oh whoa duck <laughs> or goo no duck puddle duck yeah <laughs> anyway female um so I don't know I think I'll just stick with Peter Rabbit and she can use it as decoration or something you know in her in her nursery okay so that's already taken care of i have to check to see if i have a gift bag i usually try to keep a few gift bags from dollar tree uh on hand so that way you know you have a gift if something come up real quick you have the bag for it already so i think i've got one that i can use um yeah and I guess that's all. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a wonderful week or have had a wonderful week. It's Thursday. One more day um, for the week and then the weekend. And I don't know what's coming up on the weekend. If I've got plans, check out Crafting with Friends next week and you will find out what I did over the weekend. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. And to, of course, Tuesday is Tuesday Tidbits again. And I have to think of something else. Maybe I'll have another designer spotlight by then. I'm not sure. We'll see. Shifting in my shoe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you on Tuesday, if not sooner, but probably Tuesday. Uh, unless I can think of something else. But right now, it's probably will be on Tuesday. Okay, everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>